Welcome back. Joining us now is the Mizzou basketball legend, Lawrence Bowers, now the, the Columbia native, Calm just, it down. just like me. Calm it down. Yeah. Legend. That's, that's a bit steep. It's hey. real steep. I'm a fan now. You know, I'm an alum. I'm a washed up Mizzou basketball player. Uh, not not washed up at all. Plenty of, plenty of uh, bright stuff ahead for, for Lawrence Bowers. We're going to get to that in just a bit, but we'll start with the, the breaking news this weekend. Mizzou hiring a new men's basketball coach, Dennis Gates, from Cleveland State. Just your initial reaction to the hire. What what do you think Mizzou's getting with uh, Dennis Gates? I like the hire. Um, you know, uh, young, hungry, uh, great recruiter. Uh, when I played here, and the, you know, the Florida, those Florida State teams were pretty good. Uh, I had a huge respect for Leonard Hamilton, so it just kind of made me stay, you know, stay attentive towards uh, Florida State back in the day. And I know that he was bringing in those guys, and they always had some really good players. So uh, I'm excited to have Coach Gates. Uh, can't wait to meet him um, and, and see, you know, um, what his what his plan is for the University of Missouri. Obviously, he's coming in to um, I don't want to say tumultuous time, but you know. It's definitely a rebuild, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how he handles that. What do you think priority number one needs to be for Coach Gates coming into a, a situation where, uh, you know, Mizzou, like you said, just had a, a bad season, but there's still just one year removed from an NCAA tournament, albeit the roster looks a lot different. Right. I think um, I think the biggest thing is recruiting the guys that we have here, the guys that we, you know, we need to make a priority to stay. I think that's huge. And then, obviously, the kid down the road, uh, Aiden Shaw, you know, loves Mizzou, been around Mizzou his whole life, and uh, he just recently opened up, you know, from his letter of intent, which rightfully so, you know, um, I think those those two things would be the priority. As far as, you know, the team structure, I do think, uh, you know, just from being a former player and somebody really invested in the program, that we do need to go out and find a true ball handler. Uh, no discredit to any of the guys on the team now, but I think that's the one position that we really, really need to fill. And um, I think just winning games, man. I, you know, like you said, we're one year removed from the NCAA tournament, and we're not too far removed from basketball success. And I hate talking about it because I feel like, you know, my class was probably the last class that really had it going. Um, but fans here know how that feel, and I think Dennis Gates will get us back there. Well, a lot of people look at Dennis Gates' record as, as a coach, 50 and 40, and say, hey, how is this guy getting the zoo job? But if you really dive into the stats, which I did at the beginning of the show, he actually has turned this Cleveland State program completely around. And like you said, the, the recruiting record that he had at Florida State with getting guys like Jonathan Isaac was the ninth overall pick. Uh, this is a pretty, pretty solid hire here, you think? I think so. I think, uh, you know, from a rebuilding standpoint, yes, the horizon is not the SEC. But once you have the blueprint of success with rebuilding the program, I think nothing changes. You know, actually, I think he has better resources, you know, in the SEC, obviously, than the Horizon. So, um, like I said, I'm, I'm excited about this hire. And I hope that Mizzou Nation gives uh, Coach Gates a try. I think he'll do great things here. Well, one of your good friends just finished up his first year as a head coach. That's Kim English at George Mason. Did work out this time as the Mizzou basketball coaching search this time. But, uh, what do you think of, of your friend Kimmy in his, in his first year at George Mason and only 33 years old? It seems like he's got a real bright future ahead in coaching. Yeah, Kimmy always amazes me, man. I, I saw it as a player, you know, being here with him all four years, being roommates. Uh, he always was just very witty when it came to, you know, the game of basketball. So his success is not anything shocking to me. Um, you know, being a first-year head coach in the uh, A-10 and uh, at a school like George Mason, which was a rebuild, um, I thought Kimmy did a very – very good job this year, and uh, you know they started off really hot, and then it kind of dwindled towards the end. But you know, being a team like Maryland, that's that's a big deal. So um, super proud of Kimmy. I think um, I think Kimmy is a rising star in the coaching ranks. Uh, we didn't get Kimmy in this search, and and uh, you know I'm a huge fan of Desiree's already, and and I think that she made the right decision. But um, I can definitely see Kimmy rising up the ranks very very soon. Well, uh, certainly all Mizzou fans will be rooting for for Kimmy's success. Um, this summer, it looks like uh, you've kind of hinted on social media that perhaps another alumni game is coming. Maybe yeah. we'll see Kim English back at Missouri. Uh, no, I doubt Kimmy comes back, but uh, he'll be too busy recruiting. But, yeah, that's the plan, man. Uh, you know, in 2017, DeMar Carroll and I put one on, and a lot of people didn't know what to expect. So, you know, and, and, but the crowd was actually really, uh, really good. 
I think uh, doing one this year, you know, obviously with Coach Gates coming in and, you know, I think the basketball team, it, it's very similar because in 2017, it was the first year Conzo got here and it just brought a jolt of excitement. The last time we did it, I think we raised around 80,000 and uh, doing it this year, I'm hoping to, to double that. So all the money goes to charities. It's a great time for everybody involved. So I hope that we can uh, lock it in here very soon. Well, I know, Lawrence, you have a, a new job opportunity that, that you've started. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're, what you're doing here in Columbia now? Yeah, so uh, I'm working for a company, a uh, private startup company called uh, Advancing Missouri Athletes. We are NIL's NIL company that's handling almost everything. I, I don't want to say everything, but almost everything for the University of Missouri's uh, men's, and, men's football and basketball team. Um, although we're benefiting the University of Missouri, it's not affiliated with the University of Missouri. Um, l from a legality standpoint, the university cannot solicit NIL. Um, so that's where, you know, me and the other six guys on the board who love Mizzou, who are alums, who are former athletes, decided to step in and try to, to help our school reach the, the pinnacle of uh, football and basketball. This summer is going to be the eighth annual Camp Bowers. Uh, how does that sound? Eight years. That's crazy. I remember when I started it in 2015. Uh, that was the year I got married. Um, I never envisioned it taking off the way it has. You know, normally when you hit like a five-year mark with anything, it starts to plateau. And last year we had 420 kids. And I always say, you know, my camp thrives off the generosity of the community. I have an unbelievable amount of, of, of sponsors and people who uh, are the financial backing for my camp, and it makes a huge, huge difference. Um, I'm able to put forward a, a very high-quality camp, and um, I, I think it's fair to say that every kid that comes to my camp have a good time and, and learn the game of basketball. And the uh, folks out there, sign up on elbowsports.com still? Same thing, man, yeah. lbosports.com. Um, baby ball is camp. This will be the second one we've ever had. Last year we had 105 kids. Uh, ages 5 to 7. That'll be June 18th through the 19th at, uh, at the field house. And then we'll follow up July 11th through the 13th for the normal Camp Bowers and advanced skill level Camp Bowers. So um, we'll love to have everybody that's interested in basketball. Looking forward to another year of camp. And a uh, huge thank you to all of my sponsors who have committed so far. Uh, my camp is thriving. Well, thank you so much, Lawrence Bowers, for coming on the show, giving us some insight and uh Looking forward to see what you can do with the NIL and 8th uh, Annual Camp Powers. Can't believe it. Yeah, man. Looking forward to it. I appreciate you. And this is my last one doing with you, man. We've been, we've been sitting here for a few years now. I want to wish you the best, you and your wife, and uh, whatever it is that you do after this, man, I know you're going to kill it. So you got a friend in me. Hit me up if you need anything. I'm in Columbia. You know, and if you want to give me some NIL money, <laughs> I'd gladly take it. So I'll see you, buddy. I appreciate that. My man. All right. We'll be right back after this.